how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing my standouts for hair care and skin care for 2018. So if you guys would like to join me, keep on watching. So I thought I'd call my videos the standouts. I have two of them that's going to be going up. This one's for hair care and skin care, and then the other one's more geared towards uh, makeup. I picked standouts because I thought, you know, like these are products that stood out to me throughout the year that maybe I've really liked and enjoyed and just was impressed with and fell in love with. So I got a lot of products here, especially in skincare, because I really was dipping into a lot of different skincare products and brands this year. So I'm going to do hair care first. I'm not sure if, I think I did, yeah, I think I did share this, and it might have been last year's favorites. I'm not quite sure, but it is something that I just, I love, and I guess it'll be a repeat then, if that's the case. But this is the Talwa Ada or something, uh, you know, last time I could not pronounce it correctly, but it's the Curly Curl Cream. And I got mine at Rite Aid. I'm sure you might be able to find it somewhere else. I love this curl cream. This is probably one of my favorite curl creams aside from the Mark Anthony or something. I think it was. It smells like lemon custard. Okay, the others. Pretty much are all Nick Chavez, which you know I stepped into a Nick Chavez products and I love a lot of his hair care products. They do work really well for me. This one's his Thirst Quencher Hydrating Hairspray with Argan Oil. I love all of his hairsprays. I really, really do. I think they just work really well for my hair. And this one is very, um, just keeps your hair soft. Mostly all of his does. I've said it before. I mean, I feel like his hairsprays are some of the best. Like, they're not sticky or tacky. The other thing is, I so fell in love with his Diva uh, hairline. This one's the Diva, I think it's Shout, yeah, Shout Time Weightless Pomade. And you put this on after your hair is pretty dry and kind of, you know, shape and give your hair some more definition. The other one from the Diva Hair Collection is this Shine and Conditioning Spray with Silk Extracts. And oh my goodness, when you spray this on your hair, you literally can see the shine. There you can see, you can see the shine like right there somewhat like giving off on my hair. It, and it smells wonderful. Okay, the other thing is I wanted to share a couple fragrance with you guys that I really fell in love with that I wouldn't mind getting the full bottle, but they are very pricey. I'll probably have to wait a while before I ever get them, but I do want to mention them because I actually really, really liked them and they did stand out to me this year. So one is the Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. This smells so beautiful. It's very soft and sophisticated. I really liked that. The other one, it surprised me. This really, really surprised me. And it's Black Opium from YSL. I really liked that one a lot. I didn't expect to because I'm not usually somebody that likes some of the notes that would normally be in that kind of perfume, especially Patoli. I don't really like that kind of fragrance, but there's just something about it that's so warm and sophisticated. I just fell in love with it. The next products are kind of skincare but more for the body. One is from Dove and it's the Exfoliating Body Polish. I got mine in Walmart and I love this one here especially. This is the um, Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk one. That one's my favorite. Oh, It just smells like a warmy vanilla scent or something in there. I don't know. I just really like it. Out of the Three they have. I think they have three. This is my favorite one. This is the one I'd probably keep repurchasing. The other product I really like is this Dr. Teal's Body Lotion. Uh, it's moisture plus hydrating avocado oil and essential oils with cocoa butter, shea butter, and vitamin E. I know a lot of you guys talk about the Dr. Teal's. I know my husband's used the salts before and you know used them for his feet to soak his feet and everything so i wanted to get this and try because i was really feeling the dryness from the weather and everything loving that okay before i forget i wanted to share a skincare 
tool with you guys that was sent to me uh, from Trophy Skin. This is the Rejuvederm Microderm Abrasion. This is a little bit different than some of the other ones we're showing you guys. This is more of um, a handheld one where you can just take along with you. I mean, the other one you can take along with you too. I just, I think there's more to that one. Three different things that you can do on your skincare or do to your skin. One is to microderm abrasion, you know, to get rid of and lift up the, um, the clean up the dead skin. One, clean out the pores and everything. One and then the other is like to penetrate your serums and different things in a lot uh, better. So I really love this product. I, I will be doing a video about this, like uh, demonstrate it and kind of show a little bit more. It's smaller compact that you could take along with you. So I've really been liking it. I mean, my skin has been looking the best that it has. And each time I, each time I turn around, my skin looks like it's getting so much better from all these different products that I've been using. All right, now let's get into the skincare products themselves. I'm going to share some of the uh, facial cleansers here first. I'm going to show both of these together because they are from the same brand and pretty much almost the same same thing in a sense, but they're both from Olay. This one's the Micro Polishing Cleansing Infusion. Uh, it's a hydrating glow facial cleanser with crushed ginger and cit citrus extract. I really like it. It does polish your skin really nice. Just has very, very fine little granules in there, but nothing very hard on your skin. This one's the Cleansing Infusion Hydrating Glow Facial Cleanser with Deep Sea, te with deep sea Kelp and Aloe Extract. There's this one here. I love both of them. I really enjoy a lot of Olay products, Oil of Olay products. Love them. This one's a little more pricey of a cleanser, but I fell in love with it. And I see a lot of you guys sharing this one. And it's the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. It's for the normal to dry skin. This has to be one of my favorite cleansers right now too. It's very creamy, very smooth. I just love it. Now I got a little set from the Elemis company and this is the Gent Gentle Foaming uh, Facial Wash. It's um, a foaming cream cleanser. And it's in a nice deluxe deluxe size. I bought one of their kits that's like $35 on um, Romans. Oh, this smells so good. Now, if you don't like a perfume scent in your skincare, then you, or you have skincare irritation, it might be something that might not be prone to you or you might not want to use. But I love the smell of this. Oh, my goodness. It has, it's just warm, very warm scent to it really really nice I love that cleanser other cleanser I'm really enjoying is it's more of an exfoliating cleanser and it's the Neutrogena pore refining exfoliating cleanser uh, it has glycolic acid formula and it's a really nice exfoliant for your skin I love this face mask I'll do you know cleanse your face sometimes you use a face mask there's just a couple here that I'm going to share with you guys um, they're mainly a lot of them are sheet masks, like from the By Nature that's in Walmart. Like there's this pumpkin and spice cha latte one. Um, this one's the charcoal and manuka honey. I love a lot of the By Nature uh, sheet masks. And then I love the Sue ones that you can get in Walmart. I just love them. All right, so toners. Uh, this one here I love so much from Dickinson's. Uh, it's the Enhanced Witch Hazel Hydrating Toner. I get mine in Rite Aid. This is a big 16 ounce alcohol free toner. Love this thing. Definitely keep purchasing this. It's like around seven or eight dollars in my Rite Aid. Might be different in some of your Rite Aids or wherever you purchase it, but I love this stuff. The other one I really love but it's a little more pricey, so I'd have to wait till it's either on sale or on Easy Pays Me at QBC. Is again from Elemis, that kit that I got. This one's the Soothing Apricot Toner. It's a calming facial toner. Oh my gosh. And having apricot there. Yes, you can hear my kitty. So this product here is the Revitalizing Rose Mist from Sue. It's a spray that I like to put on right after I tone my face. It's like just a little extra something 
else to hydrate and just kind of keep my uh, skin plump and just ready for the next step with my serums. I don't know, it's just a routine I like to do. I like to tone and then spritz this on right after I tone. And it's kind of like my uh, double, some people do like a double, at like their essence and all them things. So I love a lot of the products from Sue, which they do sell in Walmart. Let's go into the serums. Mask Technology has a 24 karat gold serum. Uh, it's made in Korea, some Korean skincare. And again, another Walmart product. I don't know, I can't say like I see amazing results, but I like the um, glow it gives, the hydration it gives. So I would definitely repurchase this. It's just something that just stands out to me. I ended up falling in love with it. I didn't think I was going to. I was just trying it out, thinking 24 karat gold, you know. But I, it just, yeah, I really like it a lot. I was actually quite surprised. So this product here is from Algenist, and it's the Genius Liquid Collagen. I believe they said that there is um, some amino acids, some form of amino acids or something in it. I really like it. It's just a pricey product. It's pretty pricey, but I did get it on Easy Pay, and it's probably the only way I'd repurchase it again. I am liking it, and it is a product that is standing out to me because um, it's just I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep being able to keep repurchasing it. It would be nice, but I'm just not sure if I really can. These three products here are all from the same brand. I stepped into The Ordinary. I know a lot of people have st stepped into The Ordinary products because they're very affordable and you know I wasn't sure what to expect because being as they were so affordable were they going to work was it something I was going to really like so those three products so far that like I do have the niacinamide I love the niacinamide this one here is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution I know a lot of you guys have shared this. It looks like blueberries, like crushed blueberries in there or something. It's a nice blue color. I can actually leave this on my skin for the 10 minutes, I believe it's supposed to be. And I can feel it do the little stingy, burny feeling. But I can actually leave it on for the 10 minutes and I'm fine. So uh, I would definitely say if you have sensitive skin, I'd be careful and just test it out in certain areas before you really fully jump into it. But uh, for myself, yeah, I can wear this for the 10 minutes and I'm fine. And I just love this product. I've been stepping a lot into the retinols and retinoids more, uh, meaning like I have moisturizers that have uh, retinol in them, like a couple of them that I got from TJ Maxx and other brands, uh, you know, some form of retinol. But the retinol and retinoid that I have right now are a little more potent than just that moisturizer. Gran Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I know they have several other ones on their site. I'm not sure if this is the one that is a little more potent or if this is the less potent and there's one bigger than this one that's a little more active. I don't know. I would have to look into it because I know they had a couple different ones on their site. This I really like. I it, it's like a milky substance. It's very unusual. Yeah, it's like a milky kind of substance, but I can definitely tell it's working. It's really doing its job. So I do this like a once a week kind of a thing. Once I put a little one time week sticker on there. So I, that's how I keep track of some of my, uh, some of my skincare with the, uh, the ordinary. And then the other product from the ordinary I got was the uh, alpha liptic acid 5%. It's to uh, concentrate, it's a concentrated serum to brighten and to target signs of signs of age. This has really, it's like, it feels almost like a light oil. Now, since it's an acid form, you do have to be careful. It's another thing that I would do once a week. I don't do it on the same days. I, I would do the retinoid or retinols or anything like that. I do this um, on the opposite night. Like if I do one of my retinols or retinoids, I will uh, do this within the next day or two. Sometimes usually I'll skip the day and then do this the day after. You can feel like just a little tingly sensation from it, but nothing major. But it's like almost like an, a light oil-based product. It's not like heavy or anything. It's very 
like a very light oil. And then speaking of retinol, this is the Super Retinol Concentrate uh, from Ex Exiviance. I think that's how you pronounce it, Exiviance. It's a Super Retinol Concentrate. And I believe this is 1%. If yes, this is a 1%. I love this product here. It is about $78, so it is more pricey than my retinoid. But I do really like this product. Exuvians it themselves. They sent me a couple different products. I did do a blog post. Um, I will put down below if you guys are interested in reading the blog and seeing what they sent me. Um, but this one is the main thing that really stood out to me the most because I've been stepping more into, I'm not going to do Retin-A. I might one day, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm fine without doing Retin-A. Um, if I do one day, I will let you guys know. Oh my goodness. I forgot this product because speaking of Exuvians, <laughs> I was going to show this in my uh, exfoliating uh, scrubs for my face. This is Exuvians Triple Microdermabrasion Face Polish. Uh, it is a nice citrusy orange scent. This is a professional uh, grade crystals with glycolic acid and papaya enzyme. I really like this stuff too. It smells really nice. Again, it is pricey. They're up there uh, of a more higher end skincare brand name, but I really like this. I actually have the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion. I, I don't know if I really can tell you I see a notice a difference with either one of them. Um, just other than this has more of a citrus scent and I think his has more of a, was it, it's maybe, is it a lemon scent? There's some scent to his, I, that's about really it. Maybe his is more, a little more uh, crystals. Like you can feel the crystals more in, in his than this one. I have my eye and moisturizers. My eye product I'm gonna show you is my baby, my favorite eye product to this date that I have tried, period. And I have bought from this company many times before, and so far everything I've tried from them, I have been impressed with. But this has knocked it out in the ballpark for me, fully for my eyes. And I'm not somebody who has dark circles that much, but sometimes I can get them. And then not to mention like, you know, the lines and all that. And my eyes are the best they have been in so long. And I give it all to Levin Rose Coffee Eye Lift Serum. I know you guys have heard me talk about Levin Rose before. And I love Levin Rose. A lot of the products I tried, I tried their jojoba oil. I've tried their rose hip um, night serum. Now, a lot of times when they have the word serum there, they are more of an oil based serum. And I'm not sure. I know some people, now this is like a light oil. It's not a thick, too thick or heavy. You can actually, you can smell the coffee in here. You can smell, you, you can smell that aroma of coffee in here. You just need, very little of the product and it helps smooth my eyes my makeup application under there and putting on concealers and everything uh, i mean we we know what coffee does the caffeine for your eye you know like brightens it and everything just amazing so if you are somebody that does definitely suffer dark circles this definitely because with the caffeine and everything but just everything else i am telling you give it a try. I was so impressed and so happy with it. This product here was sent to me and I fell in love with this. This actually has the first ingredient as aloe. It's not water, it's aloe. And a lot of skin products or any products like that start off with water first. This starts with aloe. It's the Labyrus Phyto Stem Cell Moisturizing Cream. And I don't know if there's really, I don't think there's any scent or any, nothing to this, but what I like is the smoothness that it gives my skin, like how much it feels so smooth and just wonderful. Also, like when I, I noticed when I put this on, a lot of times I can have really good makeup application, like my foundation and everything. So I would purchase this 
for sure from this company. I really like it. Another facial moisturizer, you use this one at night, it's a PM. It's from CeraVe and it's the Ultra Lightweight Facial Moisturizing. It has three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And I know there's been several of you who have used this and liked it also. And with it having niacinamide, um, I thought, you know what? I might not have to get niacinamide from my or the ordinary. If I have this, I could just purchase this product here and have all of this, like the hyaluronic acid, just all the goodies in this one little bottle here. So um, they do have the AM. I might actually get the AM and try it and see what it's like. This item here, I already repurchased. This was sent to me in a um, Vox box or whatever that influencer thing is that you can do. You can fill out and do surveys and all that kind of jazz. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift Sica Cream. I know I did a video or talking about this. I'm pretty sure I did. I think it was just all on this product here. And that's what it looks like. This I fell in love with. Sica Cream is, I, I know there is some forms of retinol in here. And then there's like, um, is it tiger grass? I'm thinking they call it. I know the Chinese, like they, they do something that's tiger grass. Uh, there's something in it. Uh, I can't remember the whole thing right now because I did a video on it. I'll put it down below because my mind's kind of gone blank with that. But I love this product and I actually repurchased another one. This also is another moisturizer. Every time I put this on, between this and the Virates, especially if I put it on during the daytime, uh, my foundation and all that kind of stuff just goes on so beautiful. So yeah, love this product. But this also came in that kit. Again, Elemis. I'm actually falling in love with Elemis. Although they are very pricey, that's just the only sad part. They're pricey, so I'll have to wait until either they go on sale or easy pay sometimes. But I would love to buy the full size of this. And it's the uh, Peptide for Night Recovery Cream Oil. Oh my gosh, do I love this. It smells really good. It has that nice warm, mm, that nice warm scent. So again, if you don't like the perfumey scent, that's, I, I hate to say that's what it smells like, but it, it does. It does smell like almost like a nice perfume, vanilla, warm scent or something like that. But I really love this product. I have had no problems with any kind of breakout or anything. It's very very hydrating, very smooth. I just really love this product. Definitely would get a full size. As well as this, I would get a full size. I hear everybody talking about Belief, the product, the company Belief. This one's the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This one is just that white, uh, I go very little in there, but it's more of the white cream which, oh my gosh, it has that citrus scent to it. I fell in love with this. If you have dry skin, yes, I would definitely say check into the belief. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of skincare, but I told you guys I had so much I went through and tried and just, I, I rotate my skincare. I'm not on like, I might do this one day, do that the next day. I, I'm not on a constant schedule of the same routine over and over in a sense. I am and I'm not because I like to rotate my products. So, but maybe I'll try and work in a skincare uh, video at some point. I don't know because me with my rotation the way I do, I don't know if it's really gonna be good to do or not. I don't know, let me know. If you guys want me to do one, I will do one. But let me know what products that is of a hair care or skincare product that stood out to you this year. And maybe I'll try and check it out if I can and, you know, give it a try. All right, guys. Thanks again. And as always, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Bye.